Hey folks, it's Rifgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Prison Architect. Have we got any more? Like, I've, I've got a lot of other things being shown up. Arranged 3.6 hours ago. There's a lot of these things being shown up now. So I, I'm assuming that the prison guards will go along and automatically pull these things out. This is my assumption. This is the assumption that I'm making. Is that the prison guards will automatically go and, and pull all of these different things out. Ex-law enforcement. So he's being escorted back to the cell down here. Uh, to protective custody. He's our very first protective custody resident. Very, very first one. Which I think is quite cool. We've now finally got someone in protective custody. That's, that's definitely going to help us. And here we find out a whole load of information about these different people. All of these extremely tough. Tough stoical. Tough strong. And there's some of them that we've got a bit legendary up here. He's... Someone that we've, we've got to be more careful of, I believe. Raiding, estimated re-offending chance. There was something about the legendary ones that we've got to do something with. Oh, it's this dude. This dude here is legendary. He took a poo in his family's yard. <laughs> okay. It's extremely tough, extremely strong, extremely volatile. He is not a very nice person. All around. This prisoner is a legend of the criminal underworld. Has numerous skills and abilities that make them very dangerous. So the legendary ones are the ones that we've got to change to a different area, I think. They're the ones that we're supposed to go and put... Uh, like We, we want to bump those up to Supermax. Any legendary... If we get someone who's legendary, those are the ones we bump to Supermax. From what I understand of it, anyway. Now, I don't know how long they stay here, dishing the dirt. All right, I've, I've got some of these guys are uh, active. Now, I look in here. It's the same legendary guy right there. So, we're going to want to move him. Once we've got our Supermax section all up and built, we're going to want to be moving him. And we're going to want to be putting him in over this side. Now, prison is slowly being built over here. So we'll go back to deployment over here and Supermax. Right, things have changed over here. Things have changed big time because I've moved walls and made changes. Right, why is... There's bits of this that haven't yet fully built. So I've got, I've got to wait before I can fully build that. So I'm going to say staff only in this section for a minute. And access only as well then we've got staff only in the bit all the way around the outside edge and access only as well all the way around the outside edge then this is open to everybody and this is open to everybody that is the prisoners bit that's the prisoner bit there that side that's supermax only so the visitors will be able to come in there but the supermax bit will stop them so that's that's a good thing i'm thinking now i got this as staff only but i think the it staff only doesn't stop visitors coming through so that bit's okay and then i've just got to wait for this to finish building right, i've got this weird line running up through here quite know why but once that weird line is finished then we should be able to get the, the rest of everything done up through here i mean look i've got i've got these bits i've got large jail doors in there this is going to be a yard in here if i'm going to have a yard i'm going to want to copy a whole load of stuff and rather than going and placing everything down individually again we'll just go over to here and very quickly do a quick build clone on here uh i will quick build and copy that bit right there and I will bring you down over to here. And I will put that one there. Uh, there, like that. 
I'm going to put a big long line of these. Actually, I won't do any more than that. And then I'll rotate it round. And I'll get rid of the radios in a little bit. But there, I've now got plenty of exercise benches. And we got lots of phones for them as well, which is going to help things. Uh, flooring in here, sandstone. I'm, I'm, you know, I know that they're supermax, but we needn't treat them like animals. We can still give them a nice looking yard for them to exercise in. We've got to make their cages look nice for them. All right, give, give, give them a, we, you know, we, we've got to give a little bit. We, we have got to give a little bit on this. Now, back to my quick build. That one's down there. I can drop that in. Actually, yes, we can drop another, drop another one in there. And that one can, no, I don't want that one to go in there. That one's going to be the wrong side. Hmm. I'll let those finish and then I'll decide what I'm going to do with this because these are not quite how I want them to be. Oh, actually, no, it's okay. It's okay. I can do that. I'll go back to the quick build section. I can. It's going to be quicker if I just drop these down. So I'll put that in there like that and let that carry on. And then that's carrying on. Visitor center is finished. CI is done. Let's head over here. I've got my one dude in protective custody. Where is he? There he is. He's in protective custody in here. And he's got his very own kitchen in here. A canteen in here as well. His very own yard in here. Let's double check that we have actually got the proper deployment. It is. That is, that is, that is his zone. It's, that's all him right there. Wait. Wait. 99, uh, 200 prisoners are on their way to go and fill in all of these cells over here. This, this is, this is not, this is not helpful. This is really not helpful. We, we, we could really, really do without that. So, that's fine there. Why are you, what's this weirdness right here? What is with the weirdness? It's because it's not finished yet. Supermax only. On all of this. And that one, and that one, and that one. Right. Supermax only in there. I don't really know why it's got this sort of broken thing going on. And zero prisoners arriving at 8am. That's more like it. There. We do not want to run the risk of Supermax coming in. But there is a very weird jagged line running across here. We're going to wait, obviously, until all of this is finished. There's still some more work for them to do on there. And then once that is all done, maybe, you know, things will be how they're supposed to be. I don't really know what that the, what the situation is with that. It's very strange. And then what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to do the prisoners here. We've got to get all of them in, but that means I need to load more guards. I'm going to take two guards for every... Uh, one guard for every two supermax. So at the moment, we're looking at 440 supermax. So that's 220 additional guards that I'm going to be spawning in. There we go. Right. They're now saying that everything's in here, but we've got this weird bit along here that isn't working. So we're going to dismantle some of this. I'm going to make a few changes up through here. Quite what? That's not... That's, I see. It's decided that it's not indoors. So we'll go foundation and we'll go concrete building in here. Locked. Right. Uh, we're just going to have to build foundation in on this, like this. I run foundation in over these bits. For whatever strange reason, it's not put the foundation correctly up through there. So it's probably going to go and get rid of a whole load of the line that has gone down to it, like a, a line of these cells that I've just been making. But that's all right. I'm, I'm actually just fine with it getting rid of those. That's not going to make a big difference to us. Are we going to be able to cope with everything else that runs in here? Those seem okay at the moment. 
And then I've got that one running on there. And then I've got the other kitchen that's running on there. That all seems to be fine. So, so far, everything seems all right. It's janitors. I want more. So I'm going to want janitor closets over here. Let's put that one. Actually, that light can stay right where it is. And I'm going to just want a quick... Well, can I quick build a janitor's closet? I've got medical, office, holding cell, shared, luxury, improved. Right, workshop, staff room, shower. There is an, an extra bit that I want in here. I've got, I've got the other bits, but there isn't the one that I want. So we will simply do a standard room. So I'll go foundations in here. We'll go for a concrete building. We will put that one over like that. There. That is a fairly big uh, building that we're going to do in there. And it's going to take a staff door on the front of it. So she's going to have a staff door there. Right in the middle. Let this little room build up right here. That's not going to take very long at all. They're very enthusiastic about that one. And then as soon as that is done, we can transition that into a janitor's closet. So long as the wall over here doesn't get broken through. That would be a little bit inconvenient. On, where's the... Uh, uh, there. One worker right there. And... Oh, no. They've still got some bits around the edge to do. Ah. Right. Excellent. That has worked out perfectly. So I do need to put in some utilities. We go electric cable. And we'll run that just along there like that and then we want to take uh, objects light I've got one light there I'll put another light there and one in the middle and I will do the same there like that I think that'll be fine I, I don't think I need anything more than that and then I will go to rooms in here cleaning cupboard and I will assign that one as a cleaning cupboard like that with a staff door on it so that we don't have anybody getting in there because the supermax prisoners are apparently not allowed in and this here they've now gone through and actually converted that over to what we wanted so I can go back to my quick build in here take the basic cell it's got concrete wall on it. That's good. And a quick build basic cell. That fits on there. And then that one fits on there. And I can go over this side. So I've just got to basically just mouse down over all of these bits that are here. Turn you round and drop you in on here as well. It's going to just put back the walls where all of the walls should be. I'm hoping. That one on there, that one on there, and you over there. And then we rotate that. I don't know why it didn't build this then. That's very bizarre why it didn't actually build those in the first place. It should have done. It definitely should have done. It should have um, knocked those into place. I've got two bits there missing. I think I need to also put foundation on that. So, build concrete. Pull that down. I'll do it out like that. There, that should allow it. And then, three prisoners arriving at 8am to fill capacity on here. You're running through there. Despite the fact that this is probably the easier way in. And that's now done. That wall is now complete. Which means that, that bit of wall there can be demolished. Go to walls and doors and demolish that bit of wall right there. Then I can go and take the large jail door. That one will go in the middle of that section there. Like that one is up there. And I will eventually... Actually, I can put that in now. That one is now going to require a large jail door on there. And then we come down here, and this will require a large jail door on here as well. Then we want to go to flooring, sandstone, and put the sandstone flooring down onto there. Get that light, and you will go that way. That light will go 
that way there. And then I will do flooring, sandstone. That's going to go out there like that. Just because I think it should. We'll just take it out a little bit like that. Uh, over here, I've got some bits this side that I want to move. That phone booth, I want to put it over there. And the same with that weight bench. That one can go over there as well. We'll leave the radios and everything where they are. I'm not going to change those. That's the range of the radios. That's the bits that they cover. So, I think we're alright. You know, I, I don't think it matters if we've got extra range on them. But I don't think we want less range. I, well, I, I don't know. I don't know if it matters if they overlap or not. I've no clue on that one. It's not something I've actually had to encounter yet. And then we're going to put down lights, like we like to do. Can I put a light there? I think I can. I don't know if it's going to move the radio or not. Or whether it will allow the light to be installed regardless. I've got a light there already. And then we'll go here. This is, this is going to make sure that this outside yard is nicely lit up. I'm going to want another shower block. I've got one shower block at the moment, but I'm going to want another one that will allow for some more showering space because we do not have enough shower space for over 400 prisoners that we're going to end up having in here. Right? We've got like nearly, well, well over 400 prisoners that are going to be coming in here. And we do not have the shower space for 400 prisoners. If I put that in there, will it allow the light and both of them? We're going to find out in a minute. You that way, and then you over to there, and one into the corner, and that will work perfectly. And then we can go there. Right, let's have a look at these lights, and we'll see if that does affect anything. We've got the gates that are being put in here, and then we've got all of the walls and everything that are being put, and the beds and stuff that are being put back. Uh, I'm not quite sure what is going on with this bit in here. There's something a little bit crazy going on with the laundry baskets and stuff in that cell. That seems a little bit bizarre, really. <laughs> I don't really know what that's all about. I'm sure it's got very valid and important reasons. Very valid and important reasons. Uh, I, I'm absolutely certain of it. And then this room in here. That is now Supermax only in there. And we're going to be changing that. I need to go to rooms in here. That needs to be assigned as a specific yard. Which is that one. So I want to go like that. Because that's already saying that that was all yard in there anyway. So now we've got that all as a yard rather than just the one little bit. I got a few lights there. That is secure behind at least one door. Uh, yeah, it just took a while for it to register that it was actually secure behind at least one door. And I'm going to put in a couple of extra lights. Sort of, gonna, I've got those there. So I'll put one here like this it's going to be one back from those so they're, they're not perfectly lined up the lights in the straight lines all the way up through but I'm doing that quite deliberately because they're not lined up all the way up through anyway there we'll do that that's that's enough lights in there to keep that running I've got gardeners and janitors that will be turning up we've just got to wait for the rest of those beds to be built Cleaning cupboard is done. So look at our staff. I've got 50 janitors and 40 gardeners. Do I have enough of those? So we'll go to our reports first. And we will have a look at the staff in here. And we will see if they appear to be tired. They're on breaks, but they're not tired. So then we will go to needs over here. Staff needs on this side. I've got all staff right there. Uh, gardeners right here. Gardeners are absolutely pleased with their work. Janitors, a little bit less so, but they're all right. Guards themselves, they're doing all right. Armed guards, they're all right. 
the K9, the dog handlers, they're the ones that struggle the most, but then they've got a long way to travel for everything that they've got to do. Uh, snipers, they're fine. And the cooks, they're all good. And the orderlies, the orderlies are also... Uh, like the, the staff, the staff are doing wonderful. Staff are doing absolutely wonderful in here. We are going to get some more janitors in. i uh, get another 20 janitors in here, because I can't have... Um, high security pri um, the supermax prisoners I can't have them helping out at all so extra janitors running around and keeping everything clean is definitely going to be needed in over this side so far so good oh, the graveyard was the one other thing that I wanted to build before I really finished everything up uh, in here interesting that these prisoners are all using these benches they're out sitting on the benches in quite an orderly fashion as well, it must be said. So we will get them some more benches. Now I got eight small benches from different things. So we will put out these small benches for these prisoners to sit on like this. I'll put a few of them there. I will put some of them over here like this. You'll notice that I've deliberately not put these in a set pattern all the way through. They kind of just... A little bit more randomly spaces. It's not perfect patterns all the way down, but we, we've got quite a lot more. So there's a lo load of extra benches in there. And I think I will treat them to a bleachers as well. We can have one of them. And they can have another one over that side there. So we've got lots of seats for them in there. Let's go with that. And so these guys over on this side, they're also going to want something similar, aren't they? We're going to want seats. So I will put some bleachers in here. I'm not quite sure what I was going to do. Is I think what I will do is put bleachers like this. I'm going to put a few of them side by side in a run along here there and I'll do the same over this side one two uh, three and four of them there and then I'll do the same down over here two three and four and then over this side like that uh, three and four in there. So we've got lots of bleachers in here. I'm going to want some benches for these guys to be able to sit on. So I will also do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work these in from each side. I'm going to leave a gap between each one. Like that. And then we'll do another one in there and there. And then again over this side and over this side. And then one dead center. And I'll do something similar here. How close was it? One, two, three. One, two. I've got less of a gap on them. Oh, I see. It's, it's just the way that that's worked out. I've got less of a gap between them. So I won't put more benches up there. I'll leave the other benches. We'll, we'll leave it like that. So there's that bit sorted out. This in here is almost done. I do want to go back to deployment because I've got more prisoners coming in. Supermax. No, they are actually set to supermax cells only in here. They are fully set to supermax only in there. And it looks like once those are done, those last couple of bits, I will have the full capacity available of 448 supermax. I'm down to 2,000. I'm down to 1,000 in here. With all of the extra stuff we've got, I'm down to just 1,000 in there in the bank balance. So I just I just need that one toilet there to be installed. And that cell is now ready. 547 in there. And daily cash flow is way, way down. So that means I'm not going to be able to get more staff. I have got right there 446. So I need 223 additional guards. We want 423 guards. 423 in total. I can get one. 
And now I've got insufficient funds. I need 423 total armed, uh, no, just total basic guards. So we'll go to finance over here. Programs, grants, current bank loan. Uh, maximum loan, 122,000. So let's whack in all the loan that I can currently get. Every single little bit of it, like that. And then go into staff in here and start throwing in the guards. I'm just going to stack them all up like this. I'm going to need a new staff room on top of what I've got here. I'm probably overdoing it with the guards. And this is probably going to crash my game as well. The number of guards that I'm putting right here on this footpath. This is insane. Let's get rid of that bit a second and then go to here. 315. I still want a lot more guards than this. 423, I said. I need total of 423 guards. I am not up to 423 guards yet. This is ridiculous. I'm pretty certain this is going to crash something. I am absolutely certain this is going to crash something. But I'm close. 422, 423. I have done it. There, 423 guards that we have just added in. We're down to 11,000 on there. Press the space. <laughs> ah, yes. Look at them go. And instantly that has gone up to minus 7,000. So I am not going to be able to get the bit that I want to get, which is a whole load of... Well, no, there's not a whole load of anything. I wanted an additional staff room. That staff room there is not going to be enough. We need another one. I'm going to put another one in here. And then the other thing that I want to do is I want to build a graveyard. That's about the only other thing that I still want to do. But we're going to go into here. We're going to go to intake. So right now i got 447 supermax capacity. Wait, 447? I had 446. Why is that? Why is that changed? This shouldn't have changed. I should have... This should all be supermax capacity in here. Deployment. That is all supermax capacity in that bit. I've got a shower block there. I need another one. That's got to be doubled up. You're all right in there. All of those rooms are good to go. And down here. All of these rooms. No canteens accessible by this cell. Well, that's not actually true. Right, that is fine in there. This canteen in here, there are no prisoners assigned to this canteen. That one... Oops. What have I done there? Get rid of that one. Supermax. Oh, wait. Have I got a... Uh... No, I haven't got anything in there. Right, well, that's looking good so far. I don't know why I've got that little bit of wall on there. That's really bizarre. Doesn't actually make any sense. I also need to do the doors on this canteen, but we're minus seven grand, so I can't actually do anything about it whatsoever. But if we come out of that bit right there, so I've got two canteens fully assigned, and I've got the other bits assigned. I need to build another shower, which we will do down here somewhere. And there is our horde of guards. They are brilliant. All of the guards just hanging around, waiting, doing nothing for a minute. Now, I've got all of them in here. I'm not able to get any more loan. Not just yet. So we're going to have to go to intake. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, what was that? Grants. Government bailout, 100,000. <laughs> nice. The government is deeply unhappy with your performance. Our workforce is getting a little bit tired, so we're going to let them rest up for a minute. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to go and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.